Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So we'll look at some sales, but before that, let's talk about eBay's response to USPS shipping delays. So if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Trent. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. I do it for fun and profit and I take you along for the journey. So please hit that subscribe button for more great videos in the future. Yeah, uh, because of the everything that's going on, of course, uh, I've been hearing people ask questions. Uh, people have been talking about a little bit, uh, a little bit of a shipping delay when it comes to shipping USPS. I personally haven't noticed as far as customer feedback goes. I think I got maybe one question, uh, somebody saying, "Hey, it didn't arrive yet. It said it was going to arrive on this day, and it didn't." And I'm like, "Hey, listen, the tracking says this. You know, it'll get there when it gets there." Uh, I said, "I successfully, you know." I successfully got it scanned into the post office in time and that's as far as the extent of my control goes and then they said okay <laughs> so if you get somebody like that a customer just copy you know do what they can do and look at the tracking look at the tracking if you see the tracking is progressing copy that tracking paste it in the message and send it back to them and say look it's on its way it's going to get there uh it's out of my control it'll get there when it gets there and there's nothing i can do about it but anyway uh ebay on their message board on uh, if you on your seller hub you can check it out they will take a look at it actually let's take a look at it right now all right on your seller dashboard you can find this how we're responding to USPS delays so the big ones handling time uh, this is a good one we're automatically extending estimated delivery dates as necessary to give the buyers a more reasonable expectation of their when their items will arrive I wish eBay would keep it like that because I think that their estimated delivery times are unreasonable a lot of times anyways uh, because even before the situation that's going on in the world right now with the before the shipping delays uh, you know we all know we would have those customers that would say hey it didn't arrive by the expected time so this is a good thing for sure so then this uh, I'm gonna go into a little bit more about this uh, when it comes to late shipping defects uh, on another screen capture but uh, this is a good one because now they're automatically removing the shipping defects um, through August 31st and they're gonna extend that. So that's great. Uh, so that means if if you would have normally gotten a late shipping defect, they're taking into account that most shipments will be late with USPS, so they're automatically removing those. Uh, and we'll look again at that later. And then for this one, item not received cases, um, oh, send me, somebody sent me an offer for that rare nerf or bell i lowered the price on it we'll see what what happens with that for item not received cases this seemed like it was the same way it used to be anyways but anyways if you if a buyer opens an item not received because uh it's a late shipment all you got to do is upload the tracking uh and i guess they're gonna side in your favor as long as it shows that you scanned it into the post office on time and everything but that's honestly that's really no change from their procedure the procedure for item not received before anyways so anyways you can review this uh, on your uh, seller dashboard you can find this uh, ebay community message how we're responding to usps delays so there you go uh, ebay is uh doing a few things to try to combat the you know the shipping delays with usps united states postal service uh one being that they're on their rec on their estimated uh delivery times which has let's be honest they've always been kind of an issue uh, they've always overestimated I think they said they're extending those out to, so that's good uh, so customers should have uh, expectation that it should be arriving at a later time if they're doing what they say they are uh, secondly the big one is that uh, they're uh, basically waiving all uh, late shipping late shipping defects uh, and we'll actually let's go ahead and take a look at that too okay here's my late shipment report and normally to get these transactions removed from defects uh, if they're gray they've been removed this one has not been removed but out of the last few months all these I did not call these in to get them removed normally I have to call in and get some of these removed they'll remove the ones that they determine actually arrived on time which they can do uh, you have to call within the last few months though they can they can only look back a month or so so keep that in mind but uh, all these got automatically removed anyways because of you know they're taking into account the the delay in shipping so it's nice so keeping the late shipment defect rate low 
so yeah, there it is. Uh, that's a pretty huge one. I see I've got this big list of uh, sh what should have been shipping defects uh, and they're automatically wiping them off anyways. Those are ones, by the way, if we weren't in this situation, if you wanted to get those a lot of those defects removed, uh, you can call in to periodically to eBay and a customer service rep will go through and find any of them, any of those late shipping defects that actually arrived on time because it's just a computer uh, that's determining that those might be late uh, and it has nothing to do with the actual arrival time. So you can get some of those removed if you're having a problem with your defect rate in that category, by the way. Uh, but right now you don't have to worry. It's uh, you can just deliver packages whenever you, to the post office whenever you want. You don't have to worry. It's going to get wiped away. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, so that is a big one that you know because I could see how if you get too many of those, uh, you could easily. That's one easy way that you can actually lose your top-rated seller status is with the late shipping defect. And finally, they said something about if you get an item not received case that you can just upload the tracking and uh, they'll basically be in your favor. Well, as far as I remember, that's the way it was anyways. You know, anytime you get an item not received case and you can upload valid tracking that shows that you scan had the post office scan the item in on time, uh, then it's you've, you're uh, in favor of that case anyways. If the customer were to not get the, the item, as far as I know, uh, eBay, uh, buyer protection would protect them and you know they would cover that and since you did your job you got it scanned into the post office in time um, it's not your fault so it shouldn't be your fault but anyways I guess you could say they reiterated that fact that uh, you know if you do get an item not received case because of ship you know it, it didn't arrive on time just go and review the tracking and upload that tracking which is kind of strange too that you have to upload the tracking in an item not received case even though eBay is the one that generates the tracking number for you. <laughs> I always thought that's weird. They should automatically, when someone opens an item not received case, it should automatically review the tracking and see that there was tracking uploaded. So that's kind of strange. So I've had a few people at, ask me about shipping. I think it was Marion that might've said something about USPS being slow. Uh, has anybody else had problems with USPS? Uh, let me know. Like again, me personally, I only recall maybe one, I think only one customer said something about, hey, it didn't arrive on the estimated arrival time. So I've had a pretty good record with it. And I've shipped, of course, a lot of USPS items. Anyways, let's look at some sales. All right, I sold these uh, Nerf Vulcan ammo belts. Three of them. Nice, easy sale. Total price paid by the customer, $46.08. Alright, throw them in this box, I guess. Add them up real nice. Maybe a three pounder. All right, I sold another one of those my recent PlayStation 2 games I picked up at the thrift store for $2.99 a piece. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Bodokai Tenchai 2. Complete game. Total price paid by the customer $31.31. It's a little more expensive of a game, so I'll, I'm gonna put it in a box too, not just a padded. Get that one out. Nine ounces. All right, I sold one of two of the Jim Shore uh, figurines that I got from the yard sale. Paid 15 bucks for this one. This was the uh, uh, look into my ball. What is it called? Which with what do I see? Which with crystal ball figurine. With the box, uh, total price paid by the customer, $90.97. So this has its nice foam inserts to protect it and then its box, but then this box is gonna go in another box. It's gonna go with the good old eBay 16 by 12 by eight. 
really make sure to protect this thing. Around this thing in some air pillows. Plenty of bubble wrap and air pillows. Can't really move too good in there, that's good. It's gonna be a four pounder. All right, for whatever reason I listed this, or I had a bunch of calculators in a bag once, so I listed them all. This is a Casio SL-1100TV, two-way power, 10-digit little calculator solar calculator. I listed this thing a long time ago, it finally sold. I sent out, I actually sent out offers and this is one that I got a hit on. Total price paid by the customer, $6.22. How about that? So we'll throw this in a padded, it's gonna be an easy four ounce shipment. Made a couple bucks on a calculator, probably most people would have just thrown away or donated to, donated back. Okay, I sold the, Second of two, uh, Jim Shore collectible figurine that I bought from that yard sale. Nice guy. This was the less expensive one. I paid $10 for it. Uh, it's the, uh, what's it called? Safekeeper of the Season Seashore. Angel CC and figurine. Paid 10 bucks for that one and it sold for $47.44. Total, total price paid by the customer. All right, lay some paper down. Got some more air pillows. More paper. Nice and tight. Three pounder. All right, sold one of my uh, Panasonic 3DO games, Space Hulk. Vintage Panasonic 3DO. Chances of you finding this in the wild, just it's probably never gonna happen. And that's what a Panasonic 3DO game kind of looks like most of the time back before they had the CD case thing down to a science. <laughs> uh, total price paid by the customer $65.64. Gonna protect it in this box. Put it in a mailer too. Right at a pound. All right, then I sold this Nerf lot of uh, Vulcan accessories. This is all for a blaster called the Vulcan, the big yellow one. Do I have an example? I don't have an example right now. But, uh, so we got the uh, ammo, ammo cover. We got the ammo swing cover. Here's the battery tray. There's the battery port cover. Here's the carry handle, the forward handle, because you hold it like this. Here's the tripod. Here's the trigger guard. Uh, and these pieces go with this uh, cover tray, sem cover assembly here. And the two screws go with that. Total price paid by the customer, $32.77. Throw down a little bit of paper, get that in there, all this big stuff. And 
and I will bag up these items, the small items. Got that bag in there. Let's top it off with a little more paper. And I'll call it good. Three pounder. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about any interesting eBay tips, tricks, or ideas for a video, anything like that. Leave it down in the comment section. Always appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, and have a good one.